I'm sure they're perfectly lovely people. I'm sure. Dirk, if he thinks he's going to bring that bimbo he's now calling his wife, I'm not going to be there. See? She wants to run everything, but guess who she expects to pay all the bills? You two, please try not to do this in front of us drivers. They're very refined people. I don't want them to get the wrong idea. Everybody ready? I don't want Aunt Flossie there. She hates me. Darling. This is my mother. How are you? Oh, well, my father Clifford. Hey. Hello. I know you're Father. How do you do? Lovely. Where's Samantha? Oh, she's upstairs, hiding. She's just getting herself beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so, I had the lemon in my hand. <laughs> it's not going to matter what you wear. When we walk down the aisle, arm in arm, the guy with the hearing aid, well, I'm the guy with the lemonade. <laughs> 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 uh, well, Cliff, I suppose uh, you know that I have a certain position in the community, and uh, you quite understand. You can give the rehearsal dinner of five the number of invitations evenly between the two families, dear. Well, certainly, of course. I'm sure you'll want to have Sam and Dirk's friends on your list, and I suppose... She is. She's your sister. So what? Half-sister anyway. And half-wit. Hey, it's my... The, uh, uses a professional name. Uh, what are you calling yourself these days, Adelaide? Your names? I'm afraid I don't... Cool Daddy, who offered to pay for the booze, and then says he wants a cash bar? We want it at our club, but don't worry. We'll let you know what it costs. Oh, I hope it's gonna be semi-formal. This is the current blushing bride. <laughs> and look, pink tuxedos. Oh, hey, I get to walk down the aisle for school. I'm a sister, and I want to wear hot pink to go with my usher's tie and cummerbund. <laughs> oh, do you have any good-looking friends with Corvettes? I'm not walking down the aisle with anyone cheap or ugly. You're not walking anywhere. Oh, yes. Dirk, die. Driver, how do you do? <laughs> Evening. This is my mother. How do you? Half wit. Hey, it's my father who's paying for all this, not yours. I think we just want to try to keep the whole thing casual. We don't want our friends to feel like they have to dress up. There are going to be a lot of people who will expect to attend. Oh, of course, we must divide the number of invitations. Six years old, I dreamed of having a long lace dress with a cathedral train. I want a blusher veil. And a regular illusion veil all the way down the back. And I want a crown of flowers in my hair. And I want it to match my... I was, uh, say, do you know you have a lemon in your ear? And I said, well, you've heard of the... White silk stockings with appliques on the insteps. I don't, I don't think the old one can even make his way. She gave your cousin Zoe four place settings. Do you know what silver costs these days? Samantha, I have my dinner jacket from the Total Busters Award Dinner. I'm going to wear it. That's relevant. Uh, yeah, about our names on the invitations. Mr. Shirley Dearborn and my cousin Mike Gordon. Daddy, you walk me down the aisle. Daddy? You mean with biological? You with dear biological? I want it to match my hair. And I might want to carry a parasol. And I want real... Look, I'm paying for the food, the hair, the flowers, your dress, your mother.
his dress, his sister's dress, the band, a wedding present, and God knows what else. You're going to look terrific. <laughs> you look on the aisle. <laughs> you have a tie? Now, please, about the band. Find one that plays some music you can dance to, because I don't want to be blasted silly. We uh, can't pay for music. It's our wedding. Video equipment. Nobody asked your opinion. It's my wedding, damn it!